Good morning, church. Welcome to day one of our seven days of prayer and fasting. And we are so excited that you are joining us for this week uh, to really spend your first week of the new year devoting some time and some attention to the Lord. I want to say happy new year. I'm hoping and praying that, that throughout the course of this week, man, God reveals some amazing things to you. I also want to just start and say, hey, if you're new to fasting, if you've never done this, we want to just say welcome. We're excited that you are taking up this challenge this week, that you are giving God your first, that you're giving him some attention. And I just wanted to maybe reframe a little bit of the way that you think about fasting before we get into our devotional today. First, I want you to think that fasting isn't really about abstaining from something as much as it is about replacing what you're doing with your attention and intention towards God. That every time that you might be taking a meal or having a snack during the day, we want you to stop and spend some intentional time praying and thinking and considering uh, about what God might have for you in that moment. Secondly, fasting is not about checking something off a list or or creating kind of a new like godly to-do list, but rather what God has for you this week is nearness. That his desire for you is that you would press in and give him your attention that you would be listening for his voice and his guidance, that you would be giving up part of yourself, uh, and as Jesus might say, dying a little bit to yourself to to gain uh, a new depth of relationship with him. If you're new to this, I wanna give you a couple of tips just to start your week off strong. We wanna start by setting an intention. What are you hoping to hear from God this week? What are you hoping that he might reveal to you, that he might show you uh, for you and your life and your family in 2024? We want to choose a fast. If this is new for you, let me encourage you to start with something small, that this is a, a discipline that as believers in Jesus, we grow in. And so we don't want to set ourselves up for failure. Maybe this is the first time you're doing this and you've never fasted before in your life. Let me just encourage you to pick something that that will stretch you, but also will be a goal that you can accomplish. We want you to succeed at this. We want you to hear from God. We want you to feel like at the end of this week, man, you did something to start off your year the best way that you could. Secondly, I just want to encourage you to schedule your day. Make sure that you know that those times that you normally would eat if you're abstaining from food for multiple meals, to make sure that you're drinking water and that you're setting that schedule time. That, hey, every day when I'm supposed to be eating lunch, I'm going to read these passages of scripture and I'm going to be praying about whatever our, our daily prayer topic is going to be. And that way that time doesn't really get away from you. It doesn't feel like it's something wasted and you're just kind of... Uh, uh, ebbing through the day, waiting till maybe you can eat after sunset. Uh, I would, I'd encourage you to be accountable. Uh, the Bible does tell us, Jesus says that when you're praying, we don't want to, or when you're fasting, excuse me, we don't want to be out loud and be like, look at me, how, how much I'm fasting. But I would encourage you, especially if this is something that's new to you, to, to bring some trusted brothers or sisters into the fold. That when you're struggling and you're feeling like, man, I don't know why I'm doing this or if I can keep doing this, not only can you pray and trust that God's going to provide you the strength, but you can also lean on your community to say, hey, would you guys just encourage me today? Today's getting a little hard. Today I'm feeling a little more hungry. Today I'm having a harder time giving God my attention. And allow your your church community, your church family to come alongside and be praying for you. And so, man, with all those things in mind, we are starting off our year by giving God our first. The Bible has this principle called the, the principle of first fruits. We see it in the book of Leviticus, Leviticus 23, 9 and 10, when, when God is speaking to the Israelites and he's telling them about the land that they're going to, to take over. He says, when you come into the land which I gave you and reap its harvest, then you shall bring a sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest to the priest. Solomon's going to build on this in Proverbs 3, 9. He says, honor the Lord with your substance, with the first fruits of all your increase. The idea of first fruits is, is really two part. It's one, we recognize that it's God that has delivered anything to us. That the only reason we have what we have is because God has delivered it. And secondly, we do it because we believe that God is going to continue to deliver. And so this week, the first week of our year, 
we want to trust and thank God that we made it through 2023, that God has delivered us through all the things that have brought us to this moment and believe that he will continue to deliver us into this next year, that he has good in store for us who love him and are called according to his purpose. And so what we're doing in giving God our first is trusting him that he has already delivered in so many ways and that he will continue to deliver throughout this year. Today, we wanna pray and we wanna ask for God's direction and his guidance in our in this next year. What I wanna challenge you with today is to ask him to reveal more of his purpose in your life and secondly, to reveal any areas of your life that are not yet surrendered to him. The passage of scripture that I would encourage you to meditate on today is this. It's Psalm 1. 39. You can read the whole thing. It's really good, but I want to focus specifically on verses 23 and 24 for our devotional today. It says, search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Man, I love that. And I think that's a really dangerous prayer for us, especially as people who, who, who really want to uh, fulfill our selfish desires, is to lay those things before the Lord today and say, God, is there any way in me that's offensive to you? Is there any way that I'm living my life that is not your way? Is there any area of my life that is not yet surrendered to you? God, would you begin to reveal that to me, that in 2024, I might honor you with more of my life. I might bring you more glory with more of my life. The way I like to say it to students is if you imagine your life as a house, are there any rooms in your house that Jesus isn't allowed into? He's allowed in the living room and he's allowed to use the common spaces, but are there any areas of your life that you're like, ah, you can't open that door yet, Jesus. You're not really allowed in this space. Today, on the first day of our prayer and fasting, I wanna challenge you, I wanna encourage you. Pray and invite God into every room of your house. Is there something in 2024 that you know needs to be let go of, that you don't wanna carry into this next year, that you know the Holy Spirit has been calling you to let go of, that he's calling you to kill? So invite the Holy Spirit in today. As you, as you abstain from whatever you're gonna let go of, Invite him to reveal to you any area of your life that you've not yet surrendered to him and allow him to give you the strength and the boldness and the courage to let him in, to remove anything that's not his, that you might live a life more surrendered to Jesus. Church, I'm so excited for you to participate in this seven days of prayer and fasting. Man, I am believing that God is gonna deliver in amazing ways. You can absolutely do this by the power of the Holy Spirit. Think of that passage from Philippians where he says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. In those moments where things get hard, where you feel hungry, where you feel like you can't give me your attention, remind yourself of that reality, that the Holy Spirit is in you, that he is empowering you to do this, and that you can endure this by the Holy Spirit that gives you power. Church, have an incredible first day of prayer and fasting. We are believing amazing things for 2024. We love you.